Yo, what's up, Vintage Gamers? Showcase time. The last showcase of Season 1, and actually the last showcase of Vintage for a while, as uh, in Season 2, Vintage will be replaced again by Pi uh, not Pioneer, Popper. Uh, this happened last uh, split as well. I think it makes some amount of sense. I'm not happy about it, obviously. I'd rather there be Vintage Showcases every season. Um, but yeah, so next season, Season 2, will not have Vintage Showcases. Uh, it will instead have Popper. So this is the last one. Uh, of course, I am already queued for the Vintage Showcase Qualifier through PO on the last video. Uh, but we're going to play this again for content and see if I can, you know, eat any slots, kick some people out, uh, play Heartbreaker. You know me. Big Heartbreaker. Anyways, um, I heard Tinker was broken, so I'm playing the best Tinker deck. Probably. <laughs> I'm going to play Oops, All Spells. Look, Ma, no lands. I'm going to play uh, Char Belcher and uh, Balustrade Spy, Undercity Informer, Mill Over My Deck, and uh, Dread Return back a Thassa's Oracle or just Belcher them. Of course, of course, post board, we can board into uh, more, uh, less focus on the graveyard. Um, but pre board, you have a very uh, self sufficient graveyard combo. And then you have a ton of free counter magic. I haven't actually played this deck in a long time. It's fun. It's fast. Should be a good time. And uh, let's play some vintage Magic: The Gathering, shall we? Round one, we've got uh, we've got the Italian PO Master. I are they already queued too? I could have sworn they were already queued. Oh no, they were queued for last year, last season. Okay, all right. Well, what do I have in my hand here? I have three mana, four mana. This hand doesn't do anything, so we're going to mulligan it. So, actually, how many players at this event? 140? Wow, eight rounds of vintage today. Crazy. All right, dope. We got some magic to be played. Let's mulligan. This hand has no mana I can cast or play or anything, so... Let's mulligan. This hand has mana. So if I use this as a land, this as a petal, this as... God, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. I guess that's what happens when you mold a five. Because we don't want a second chrome box. And I guess I would rather get rid of this Narcomoeba back into the deck. Uh, Yeah, I mean... This is, is show show him the Undercity Informer and hope it works, which it never works. Uh, David over here has many Force of Wills. Ah, classic Saga Gamer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Saga PO, very likely. I still don't think you should be playing Saga in PO, but that's the hill that I'm dying on, I guess. All right, so what's the best card I can draw here? A Black Lotus? A Black Lotus. A Black Lotus lets me play Undercity Former, activate Undercity Informer, uh, and have Forcible Backup. A, a Chrome Box is shit. A Chrome Box is shit. Uh, well... That might be the worst draw in my deck. <laughs> uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I think we just play it and uh, put him on Force of Will. I don't think waiting helps us too much because we would still have to draw a... Like, if we held Seagate, we would still have to draw, like, a mana, like a double mana. It's just it's not going to work out, I think. So we're just going to jam, 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 regret. Like, this doesn't even kill on this turn. I have to wait until next turn, so, like, things can go badly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, I don't think we're past the point of, uh, of caring about that. We mulled a five and didn't get the cards we needed. So, force of will check. 
This draw was very bad. <laughs> this draw was very bad. Okay, no force of will. We don't win unless we get another turn with us understanding form it's still in play. Uh, the good news is we have the most robust... Um, we have a fairly robust uh, Necro Narcomiva package with four Narcomiva and a bridge and two therapies. Though we would lose to, I guess, Ancestral. We would lose to Infinite Turns. We would probably, we could lose to Citadel. Uh, we shouldn't lose to, like, Flusterstorm or Force because we have two therapies. So unless they have, like, Negation and another one. But this should be good. All right, looks like we're getting a turn here. So as long as I don't screw this up, I think we're looking okay. All right, so I haven't done this combo in a while, but... I guess we just sack this to itself and target myself and flip over our deck. Sack, target player. Yes. Sack, sack. Yes. This is going to reveal four Narcomibas, and then we're going to cast um, two therapies target targeting them. The first one will be on... Luster, and the second one will be on Force. Something like that. I don't know if there's anything else I can do differently. Feel like, okay, they didn't have it. Sweet. It's a good start to the tournament. All right, now we need to win post board. So. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I hadn't thought about it that much. Maybe you name Force and then Fluster. I, I, I didn't really think about it. I hadn't gotten to that point yet. <laughs> All right, so the Esper PO deck can bring in Graveyard Hate. So what I think I want to do is I want to bring in Char Belchers um, to try to skirt Graveyard Hate as much as I can. Um, I don't want this... They could have Lavinia's. That's definitely possible. I don't know how much I care. Kind of think there's like some value in just losing to Lavinia. But maybe we ward in Chain. Oh, actually, they haven't been playing Pio recently. They've been playing Esper Tinker. Um. Ooh, if that is the case, I do think I want to bring in Chains, possibly, and Negation. Well, I actually don't like Negation if they're not playing PO. Alright, so I think I can trim down on the Graveyard Package slightly. Uh, I just try to figure out how I would do that. I, I, <laughs> I didn't put too much thought into this. I do have an echo in the main. Like, Undercity Informer is the weaker of the two. Um, so I feel like you would trim on, like, Undercity Informers. And then... Trying to figure out how to trim on more. Maybe I don't need as many. Maybe I can trim down a pact or something. I don't know. I'm going to learn this on the fly, just like the rest of us here. All right, so I'm transforming a little bit of my graveyard-based strategy into a couple of char belchers and some answers to Lavinia. 
think that's pretty reasonable. I don't know where else I'm allowed to trim, because I just don't have a lot of reps with the deck. I know, like, you could trim on Pact of Negation. Doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense to trim on Pact of Negation. All right, this hand obviously is a no-go. This hand looks fine. I have a Force and a DT. They have a probe, so they know exactly what's happening. I like this hand. This hand's totally reasonable. If they leave up Fluster, I think there's a good chance I just don't cast Demonic on this turn. But if they... Oh my. That's a hand, isn't it? So they have perfect information and six starting mana. They have Tinker with Flusterstorm back up too. Why would they play this land out? Or is it P.O.? Oh, <laughs> it's Karn. Yeah, I mean, Karn with Flusterstorm back up and Probe on turn one is definitely going to win them the game if it happens. Not much I can do. Like, this is this is Karn. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a powerful play. Not technically a loss. Um, we can draw, you know, more lands into Dark Ritual, into Balustrade Spy. But I guess this Karn will get a Graveyard Hate card and then probably still lost. But I mean, yeah. This is, uh, you know, six mana plus probe plus uh, Haymaker plus Fluster on turn one. It's like almost always going to win you the game. This would probably be game winning against PO or Tinker or any deck that Karn is good against. So my deck choice didn't really matter too much in losing this hand. This is just vintage for you. Restricted, 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 restricted. Mm, they just plussed. I did draw the spy. I um, think I am just going to play the crypt and play the soldering just in case. I don't know what would happen. I don't know why the card will go away, but maybe the card will go away. Yeah, I mean, I think this is just a hand that you would always keep against everyone and will always be happy, right? It's just a very, very top tier vintage hand. Sure. You got a time vault. I mean, if they have no other action and they don't have good things to get off of Karn, game is not over, over. It's very hard for us to win, though, because we still need probably another um, land and we probably still need like a Dark Ritual. They're out of cards. They have no more cards. If they have a Lattice in their board, they are only one mana away from Lattice. But this is not over. Land? Force. Force actually would be good if I had a blue card. So if my opponent draws... I don't even know what a blank here is. Maybe like a prismatic ending? I'm not 100% sure. There are probably not very many blanks left in their deck. What if they draw a blank and we have some time... There's some possibilities. I'm unsure what else, like, what's in their Karn board. Maybe they boarded in all the Graveyard Hate and they don't have anything to get. I mean, I've built Karn boards with zero targets or one target. I feel like there should be something, but maybe, like, they boarded in all the Graveyard Hate. And so there's just nothing there. Like, uh, Force is not a blank because they have five mana. Like, I'll take a blue card or not that. That's terrible. <laughs> like, I wanted a blue card or a split land or a dark ritual are the cards that I'm looking for. Well, they probably boarded Needle in, right? For their saga. 
We drew like really this is a good draw, but like every other draw is not. Okay, so This is probably game winning. Don't know if I can beat that and assemble a combo through Karn. So they did draw a land, so that means they have no Lattice in their board, or they would have just played Lattice. Kind of interesting. Oh, now they're standing up Soul Ring. Interesting. So they don't have a Lattice in their board either. They just must be nothing in this Karn board. Okay, so I mean, that is an answer to Lavinia. <laughs> I have a lot of the pieces I need to win this game. Um, I have a lot of the pieces I need, just not all of them. All right, so they have a, yeah, Soul Guy Lantern. So now I don't feel like I can win this game. So they probably just boarded in every piece of graveyard hate, which is fine. So now, how can I win this game? Uh, don't know. I could just play a spy. It's a little late on the mental misstep there. I guess I could have forced this lantern. Oh, I can't force this lantern because of Lavinia. Never mind. Yeah, this game felt actually pretty close to winnable at multiple points if we draw like really well. This deck is so clunky. All right, so that's that's good enough for me. I don't really care what that is. It's probably just Volt Key. Could be Tinker, could be anything. So yeah, turn one, Karn with Fluster back up into Lavinia. Graveyard Hate, that's totally reasonable. Uh, do I want to make any other changes? I think I would like to bring Negation back in on the play and trim one of the chains on the draw, or on the play. And I, I think I want to have four Char Belchers. I assume they have a large number of pieces of Graveyard Hate, or at least some amount. That's more than I would like. Yeah, normally you wouldn't want the Karn in when you board in the Graveyard Hate, but this deck is a deck where you do want the Karn in because there's a lot of artifact mana and chart belchers. So it, it, I'm not saying opponent did anything wrong. Like It's probably correct to keep Karn in and it's probably correct to move in all your Graveyard Hate. It's just, it's just very awkward, right? Karn as a one-sided Null Rod is a completely playable card. Um, this is no good. It's close, but this is no good. This has no action. Mm -hmm. Nope. And this one is good. Keep. Um, so I can put away this. And this, and jam. All right, this is the force check. Oh, what the heck? A non-artifact card. Ah, that is, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, okay, well, this is a terrible hand, and I should not have kept. My bad. I did not know that this was not artifact, but now we learned. I mean, would I have kept this and I would have kept the Seagate restoration instead of this? Yeah, I would have. Well, that's a good, that's a good learning lesson. I had no idea that this was not artifact. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to be non artifact. But, okay. I guess there weren't colored artifacts back in Mirrodin? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just a misplay. It's okay, we can draw... Uh, we would have won if I had held my Chrome box. Nice. 
Or not, I mean, we would have been in really great shape if I held my Grum Mox. That's okay. Definitely gets harder now with Saga is going to go off if we don't draw immediately. Sure. Uh, nope. Oh, well. Yeah, that has never come up for me. <laughs> Ancestral, sure. So that means they have a fluster storm as well. Yeah, this game is probably over now, but we definitely had a chance before I did this play. <laughs> Oh, they just got a soul ring, so they're going to tinker us here. Sure. No need to tutor a soul guide lantern. Just draw it. All right. I can't expect. I don't expect we can win this game at all anymore. Uh, definitely had a chance if I had just held the Chrome Mox. They would have had to have a Force. Uh, but, you know. It do be like that. <laughs> they have a Karn again? Damn. My opponent's really good. Alright, well, this is, this is a loss. But, user error for sure. Yeah, I mean... It's quite likely that it was a loss anyways. My opponent had, you know, uh, Ancestral and they could have easily forced my st spy, but kind of sucks we weren't able to at least put it on the, you know, at least try. Like, if we could have played turn one or turn two, my opponent led with Urza Saga, which is a pretty laughable play, but we just didn't have it, right? Maybe we could have mulliganed again. It's possible. I guess if you lead on Saga, that probably represents that there's a force of will in your hand. So it, it doesn't sound very likely we would have gotten anywhere anyways. But All right. Yeah, cool. All right. Sweet. Yeah. User error, but I don't think we're beating this player's draws anyways. So not a huge deal. I just saw a black card and I wanted to imprint it. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go round two vintage showcase event i should play a little bit better than last time if we had to run back seven straight victories here let's see what we've got uh mana is an issue here not seeing a black source so we have to put this one back Mana. <laughs> so this one, if I hit a blue or a black source, I would have Ancestral or Dark Ritual. But I think, again, it's still just not good enough. So let's put this one back as well. Uh, wow, I, I am either this deck is garbage or I am not drawing very well here. Uh, cause this one has three mana, but no payoff. My opponent has mulliganed to six. I mean, I'm not keeping this hand either. So, all right, this is my best hand by far. Is this just a mulligan to four that is a turn one kill? Bottom, 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 black. I mean, sure. Deck's great. London mulligan, baby. Imagine trying to play this hand if you didn't have London mulligan. Like, 
it's just it's London Mulligan is not fair. It's completely busted. All right, force checks. Any force checks? This is a solid mold of four. Turn one kill. Do you have a force of will? Nope. All right, thanks for playing. Look, Ma, no lands. So we want to name negation off of our first one here. I mean, it's not even like we had um, hands that were like turn one kill with force plus pack backup. We could have those too. We just have had to mulligan a lot. You have opponent doesn't have counter spells they should concede. They could have like misstep and negation possibly, but that we can cover that. If they had misstep, I would think they would have misstep dark ritual. They could have Mind Break Trap as well. Like, I, there are ways that they could let this resolve. I think that would be pretty silly, but looks like they've conceded. All right, so Mold of Four doesn't, very, doesn't matter very much. Uh, we don't know what our opponent's playing. I would like to bring in some number of more Char Belchers. And I think that's probably the only change I'd like to make is just to have access to more Char Belchers. Well, I guess I could take out Bridge again and then have access to a chain. It's probably reasonable. Uh, okay. So, yeah, this has nothing. Mulligan. This looks like a turn one Char Belcher. Kill. Question would be... Uh, so I was going to Cabal Therapy, any extra removal from my opponent's hand, and then cast Dread Return, targeting Thassa's Oracle with no cards in my library. That's how they were going to die. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. I'm just going to put away this therapy to keep up a mental misstep and then go for the turn one Char Belcher. Yep. Lay line of the void. Successfully played around. Blue deck. This is a death right shaman. No. Okay. Okay, <laughs> we just have Pact of Negation, Mental Misstep. Yeah, sure. Can't play around days here. Okay. Are we supposed to play this pre or post Char, -char Belcher? Not really sure. I guess this can let us play around days, kind of. All right, I have a Char Belcher. It's on the stack. What do you have? You have to have Force plus... All right, I just let this happen. I don't think I care. I guess I could eat a misstep as a blue card. Cool. All right, well, you're dead. Die. I had pack back up too. 
<laughs> Look, Ma, no lands. <laughs> Mine is 34. Any order. Deck's great. <laughs> Just turn one seven mana, kill you with a char voucher with pack of negation back up and misstep back up. Nice ley line of the void. So that was the whole idea. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to successfully do the idea. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Got him. All right, here we are now. Vintage challenge showcase thing. Vintage showcase round three. We got against Ozzy Man. Uh, what do I have? I have. I have. Pitch. I have play Seagate, play Jet, play Demonic, get Lotus, play turn to Citadel with pack backup. No, it's not turn two Citadel because I would have to pitch my pact. It's close. It is close. I just think turn two where Demonic is Flusterstormable is probably not good enough. It's, I don't know. We have two draws to fill out a Chrome Mox. And we could get packed back up if we draw. I'm going to keep this in. We can have, yeah, this is not terrible. Maybe I should mulligan like before, but <laughs> I could definitely see mulliganing this hand, but it has a lot of the pieces. This Lion's Eye Diamond is either so good or just incredibly bad, huh? This Lion's Eye Diamond should probably be in the board with all of the other char belchers, right? I don't know why this is in the main. Uh oh. Uh oh. PO for four? Demonic for Tinker? <laughs> Shit. All right. Opponent has done the Char Belcher thing a little bit better than we have. <laughs> kind of unreal, actually. This is just Tinker, yeah. Well, I have no way to pay for this pact. If I had been on the play, I could have played LED and paid for this pact. Wow, if I was on the play, we could have paid for the pact using our LED. Not that that's a great play, but... So if my opponent bricks, still really bad for me. I mean, that is a brick. And a fetch, that's another brick. Okay. Okay. Brick again? Oh, they hit a top. All right, well, now we're probably dead. Why play an all-in Char Belcher deck when you can just draw five restricted mana rocks and a Tinker? <laughs> or four restricted mana rocks and a Demonic Tutor? <laughs> I guess Opal's not restricted. What am I talking about? So this is Pio or Blue-Black 8 cast, just drawing only the good cards. I'm just trying to see if it's which one it is. Uh, okay, so Esper Pio. Smart player. I guess it could be Esper Tinker with one Opal, but hard to say. Um, knowing Ozzy, they've seen my list on Twitter. So I am going to play around Graveyard Hate a little bit here.
Uh, I will bring in negation, assuming it's PO. Well, Tinker doesn't usually play an Opal, but it can. Yeah, I I I I like this. This seems fine. I do think I want to play around Graveyard Hate by boarding in Char Belchers because I assume my opponent will look up my deck on Twitter. So. Yeah, unfortunately, you just lost the die roll on that one. We we would have ap absolutely been able to not die. It wouldn't have been great, but we would have been able to go Demonic, get a Lotus, play Lotus, uh, play LED. We had a lot of we had a lot, we had a, we had, we could have paid for our pack. Is what I'm trying to say. I like the I like that we can board out of being completely based on the graveyard and board into Char Belcher. It's a pretty nice part of this deck. I've been experimenting a lot with different decks that have that similar idea. So I was playing uh, an Esper Reanimator list in leagues this week. Um, and so, like, you would play Esper Reanimator in, in game one, and then you would board into Show and Tell. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a hand. Wait a second. For this hand to work, I have to get rid of my force. Uh, yeah, I don't think that deck needed four bazaars, but I wanted to have access to tutor for one. Um... This is super awkward because I can't, I have to pitch Dread Return to get on my Chrome Mox, uh, which means I actually don't have a way to win once I cast Spy. <laughs> so I, like if, if I didn't need to pitch the Dread Return, I could, I could th therapy the Dread Return from myself. Uh, but I don't have any black mana unless I pitch it. So, like, I could keep this hand and just go Seagate Go and try to draw into a black card. Uh, which... Cut three, four here. I would have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen... It's probably not good enough to keep. I'm just going to mulligan it. It's unfortunate, because if this was any other black card, it's just a turn one with force back up. Oh, right, I don't, can't count Citadel. We learned our lesson there. True. Yeah, I'm going to put this back. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate, but... Uh, this one is a mana away. Yeah... Uh, I guess this is fine. I am not happy with this hand, but it's not the end of the world. I have ma some mana. I have... Force. I'm gonna keep this hand. Maybe... It, 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 it feels like putting away a hand that has the pieces but not the mana and a force is never gonna be a correct play. So... So if my opponent has Force and Fluster, I look silly going for it here. Uh, yeah, I guess it's similar, but we all, we also mulliganed. So if they have Force and Fluster, this looks silly, obviously. Looks like they do. Um, I, I'm just supposed to jam, though, right? I mean, yeah, okay, sure. Oh, mystical dispute. Haha, <laughs> I've been got. All right. So my opponent had four, a double counter spell. What do you follow up into here? No follow up. 
Okay. Oh, whoa. Uh, I will not play this out. Don't think there's any reason to play this out. Tinker? Academy? Den Harset, sure. Losing game one is really bad for the home team. They got a Graph Digger's Cage off of their Narsa. All right, so now we need a Char Belcher. The good news is we did bring those in. This is why Narsa is better than Hole Breacher. Finds you whatever you need every time. Also makes a mana because of Academy. We're very dead here. Time walk, sure. We are super dead. Cage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could have mulliganed more. I still would have had to beat a force. Oh, now they have needle too? Wow. All right. Yeah, this gets Char Belcher. Now I need to have Echoing Truth and Char Belcher. Great. I guess I could draw a spy and name them. One, two. I can actually cast this. No, I can't because they have a fucking NAR set. Uh, I can draw. No, I can't draw Citadel. Yeah, I'm probably dead. My opponent is got all the control cards. So maybe not Pia. Oh, no, they were on Pia. They just have Pia with all the control cards. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, this hasn't gone very well. I figured you would have a pretty good opportunity to beat these Esper like uh tinker piles but because you were just like way faster than them but i haven't really drawn like last round we drew good hands but this round in the in the first round we just didn't draw good hands versus them so it didn't work out i guess you also have to win the die roll for that so rip the dream Okay, here we go. Showcase. We're playing against a very powerful wizard, the Power Nine. I've got a hand, which once again does not contain mana. I know I put no lands in the deck, but come on. All right, okay, here we go. This is not the best of hands, but that's the keeper. At least I have two pieces of action. Just looking for any mana off the top, which lets me play Tinker. Can Tinker off of a LED. I could also play an Archimeba. I don't know what that does for me, but I could do that as well. Oh wait, no, I can't play an Archimeba. I don't have any blue mana. All right, I have to top deck blue mana or, or Dark Ritual. I don't know, top decking blue mana or Dark Ritual. Both are, that's a large percentage of my top deck neither, huh? All right, fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to play these before my opponent plays, like, Lavinia. Though I'm pretty sure they're on blue-black Tinker. So now any mana source of any kind gets me a an action spell that will win the game. Though my opponent has more mana than I do. <laughs> Are they just going to play a hard cast Citadel? Fair enough. Fair enough. No lands, or they have a land to give as well. Okay, Saga, a classic Saga gaming, turning off your Citadel. Probably doesn't matter, but could matter. Like if I draw a Banna Source and it's not, and like they get stuck with a Fluster Storm on the top of their library then that would be a good. So this is going to be Merchant for Force, which means I'm dead. Yep. <sighs> All 
All right. I mean, like, it just I, I'm the deck built to all in on turn one and two, and my opponents who have been playing the mid rangey tinker decks have just had better had better all in hands than I have. I don't know. This is not the one you wanted to name, P9. Uh, Lion's Eye Diamond makes mana for your um, Goblin Char Belcher. I believe the Lion's Eye Diamond should be in the sideboard, though. I think it's a bit of a deck building error. I don't really like the fact that it's in the main at all. Kind of feels awkward to me. I just am, I'm kind of blown away by how much we've been turn one and turn kill two killed by the Esper, like the the Tinker decks. Uh, it just doesn't. It feels so sad. <laughs> I feel like I'm the one who's supposed to be doing that, but my hands have kind of just been non-functional, and my opponent's hands have been very strong. So, rip the boy, I guess. <laughs> It's not like I haven't been mulliganing, right? I've been mulliganing to five and four a lot. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe the deck's just bad. Though, like, my opponents drawing Tinker and Citadel and fi five mana and counter spells in their opening hands are things that my deck can also do. It just, I don't know. Maybe I haven't drawn as many hands that are like that. Like, I'm not sure we've opened a single hand with Black Lotus yet. It's not really the cards that are different that our opponents are killing us with. It's the same cards that we have in our deck. They just draw them. No, we haven't cast an Ancestral. We haven't cast a Lotus. Like, it's just kind of how it is. We have a Lotus here. It's a little awkward because we don't have a lot of follow-up mana, but it's probably still a keep. Like, I can't pack to save my Char Belcher and then Belcher with a trigger on the stack because I don't have three mana, but it's still worth it. And I can always get the first one countered and still hit mana to play the second one. I don't really hate this hand. It's just like a little sus. It's definitely a little sus. If I had exactly one more mana, then I could Pact, which is really sweet. Like, I would definitely take a mana over a Char Belcher if it lets me Pact. So now I need to hit... <laughs> I just can't... I mean, like, my opponent's hands are just so much better than mine. Yeah. I'm not going to play an Arc Amoeba. I guess I can draw a Force and pitch it to it. I don't know. Feels kind of silly. I think I do have bad cards to draw, but not all the time. It's like, it hasn't been like I've been drawing bad cards every time. Like sometimes I just don't get to draw anything and my opponents kill me, right? Uh, these are the restricted cards that both decks play that we keep losing to
Yeah, like I, I just this card doesn't matter. Well, I sure hope they don't have a Foster Storm. I whined enough and I got my Ancestral. <laughs> but I have to not have a Fluster. Oh my god, they have a misstep. And now I don't have the ability to Echoing Truth a Tinker. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I just like, I like, they have all of this graveyard hate and I'm just trying to Char Belcher them and I just can't win anyways. All right, so saving the Narc Amoeba did some work here. We're getting closer. One more mana. We can play Char Belcher with Pack back up. And none of their hate cards do anything. That's fine. What are they demonic for? Cage? Feels like they demonic for Cage, which is just great for us. All right, land. Yeah. Should I have pacted? When? For my ancestral? Hell no. Not a chance. Not when I'm I'm one land away from winning at any point, right? I want my Char Belcher to resolve. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I'm saying Mana Source. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Card off the Citadel is a needle. <laughs> Okay, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I quit vintage. I'm gonna go play popper. I'm now a popper gamer. I'm off it. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't think the deck is bad, but I was, I I was definitely not winning matches of Magic today. Again, again, I have not had very good videos for challenges and showcases recently. I don't think this is the best deck choice. Like, obviously, I should have played PO, but I didn't really feel the need to play another PO deck. And people want to see more interesting decks than just PO. So I decided to play this today. Would I recommend it? I don't know. If you have the cards and you want to jam a little bit, this is probably a really fast league deck if you don't have a lot of time. <laughs> but besides that, I don't, I don't know. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you like this video and want to see more vintage, or even if you don't like this video, but you do still want to see more vintage, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube channel and help me grow. God damn it. I will see you in whatever the next video is. <laughs>